Hi, this is JB from All the Lights Over Oregon. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG playthrough. And we are concluding the Age of Apocalypse scenario playthroughs. And this time we are playing with Bishop against the last scenario of the box, Apocalypse. And this is the second time we are facing this villain. And uh, well, uh, this scenario is different version of Apocalypse we have to face. I don't have any idea how this will play out because this will be my blind playthrough and I will be playing with the pre-build leadership deck for Bishop and we are using the standard three encounter set. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and um, as you can see, Apocalypse is a three-sided villain. There is uh, this uh, version, which is the Biomorph version, then we have the Cyberpath version, and we also have the Giant version. And the game tells us to, or the setup tells us to set it onto the Biomorph um, form. And uh, we have the eight to, uh, eight threat threshold and forced response after resolving step one of the villain phase, place one power counter here. If there are at least four power counters here, the first player removes four of them and discards a card from the top of the encounter deck until a superpower card is discarded and reveals it. Okay. Oh yeah, and I forgot to do the... Um, just giving this a quick shuffle and we need to still deal one face down encounter card. So we will we'll be starting with one encounter card on the first round when we get to the villain phase. Okay. So re let's read this again. So force response after the resolving step one of the villain phase, uh, place one power counter here. If there are at least four power counters here, the first player removes four of them and discards card from the top of the encounter deck until a superpower card is discarded and reveals it. Okay. Yeah, so it's from the encounter deck. Okay, and um, we have 16 hit points to go through. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six cards. We get supercharged genius, the power of leadership, <laughs> stored energy, command authority, and a advanced suit. So, okay, well, I'm uh, getting rid of the advanced suit, so suit up. Uh, okay, that helps. So, we'll play suit up, and I'll use the Power of leadership. We search our deck and discard pile for a ally. I'll pick that. And something we can attach the, to the ally. And it'll be the sidekick. Okay, and then we will use genius and stored energy to play cable and uh, i'm using the command authority to put sidekick onto cable we'll flip to hero mode uh, cable will hit for three damage here and bishop will hit for two damage here and i will place uh, supercharge into play and that is our turn and cable to two consequential damages one two three four five uh, energy conversion legion common authority side by side and marrow we'll go to the villain phase we add one threat to the main scheme and uh, apocalypse attacks so apocalypse has overkill force response after apocalypse Ch uh, changes to this form deal one indirect damage to each player. So we start with that so it didn't change to that one. Okay, so I'm defending with bishop uh, 2 plus uh, nothing after this activation reveal this card. So this comes into play. So I'm just putting it here. Okay, so 2 
uh, will take one damage and just reminding myself so after the bishop takes any amount of damage from an attack discard an equal number of cards from the top of your deck add each resource card discarded okay oh yeah and i could have played the energy conversion okay i'm using the energy conversion so we'll shuffle all of these into our deck first Then I took one damage and I'll discard one card. It's not uh, a resource card, so we don't get it into our hand. And then we get two encounter cards. We get Agent of Apocalypse uh, minion with uh, two skin, two attack, three hit points, clan Akaba guard. When revealed, choose either add an Agent of Apocalypse to the mission area or activate it at activates against you. Uh, I don't have a mission area because I'm not playing with the campaign and if I'm correct uh, the setup doesn't make us to set up anything mission related I think those are only for for the campaign playthroughs yeah there's only only if you're playing on campaign so this activates against me so I'll take two damage and we'll discard uh, two so one two we'll get the stored energy into our hand then we get nowhere is safe when revealed, place one pursuit counter on pursuit by the past. Then, if it has any counters on it, discard an upgrade or support you could also. I'll discard that. And that is that. So, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, I think Cable will deal this guy. Because it has guards, so we can't hit past it. Yeah, I'm not even searching, so I'm just uh, using cable to hit for three damage, defeating this one. Then uh, I'm playing uh, side by side with stored energy to ready and heal. So, ready your sidekick, ready your hero, and choose one heal, one damage from both, or both get plus one. I'm going to heal one damage from both. No. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. Then... We have uh, these cards, so I'm going to play Marrow. So after Marrow enters, play deal two damage to an enemy. Then we'll hit for four damage, and Cable will thwart for two here, and we'll go to Alter Ego. And uh, uh, after you change to this form, add a temporal card in your discard pile to your hand. And I'm picking the stored energy. It is actually the only temporal card in my discard. And we'll draw back up to six. Ready up. We have Randall, Stored Energy, Suit Up, Suit Up, and Stored Energy. Okay, well, we know what cards we're using for playing Randall. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one here. Apocalypse 
towards uh, schemes for one plus two is three, so we're at four of eight. And counter card is tyrant worship. Oh yeah. Yeah, I forgot to put this counter. So there, we have two of them now here. When we will place five threat on ancient ritual. What is the ancient ritual? I'm missing something now. Okay. What is the ancient ritual? This tells me to put five threat on ancient ritual. Doesn't do anything else. And the setup didn't say, did I miss something here? No. This doesn't say ancient ritual. Hmm. This doesn't say ancient ritual. Yeah. We might have. Oh yeah. Um, okay. I might have uh, messed up and shuffled up setup card. So I'm just going to check. This new new encounter sets. Yeah, permanent setup. Yeah, I missed that. So we have the ancient ritual in place. So sorry about that. So it now has 10 on it. After threat is placed here, if there is at least 10 threats here, remove 5 threats from this uh, scheme and deal each pair of hate on counter. Okay, so that triggers immediately. So we get one more. And that is the villain phase. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, um, I will play Randall and I will use the two, uh, one suit up and one store energy to play Randall. Then we'll flip, I'll actually heal for two, uh, three damage, uh, four damage because that will heal my sidekick two damage. And I'll flip and uh, we might as well play or um, I'm going to use this card for Randall. So action discard resource card from your hand. Ready Randall if that card was uh, printed, uh, has a printed energy icon heal one damage from Randall. Limit once per phase. Okay. So I will uh, thwart with Randall. I will discard stored energy. Ready and he'll hit for one. I'll hit for two and hit for. Yeah, I'm not using Randall for that. I'll thwart again. So we still uh, defeat the first phase of Apocalypse. So we'll go to phase two. So Apocalypse's attacks gain overkill force response after Apocalypse changes to this form, deal to indirect damage to each player. Okay. I think now it changes to that form because it changes to that uh, card. Then uh, we're ready up. We draw, I'll discard that, we'll draw back up to five. We have a genius, uh, team training, uh, advanced suit, the power of leadership and team training. Okay. 
we'll go to the villain face, we add one threat here, we'll add one counter here, uh, apocalypse uh, attacks for three, I will defend, uh, so four, when, uh, yeah, this is a boost card, so we take three damage, and uh, discard three, and we get the power of leadership into our hand. And we get an encounter card. We have two. Clan Akaba Sealot Guard when defeat that place to threat on the ancient ritual and celestial armor. That's the villain force interrupt. When the villain schemes against you, discard the top card of your deck. If the card resource has uh, energy, heal two damage from the villain. My mental, you are confused, discard this card. Physical, give the villain a tough status card, and uh, wild, do all of the above. Okay. Oh yeah, and uh, we actually took two more damage. Discarded two more cards, which were not wild. Yeah, I, I forgot we have the... Okay, so... We are also stunned. Now we put... Where did I put that other card? <laughs> oh yeah, it's here. Okay. And that is the villain phase. Now we have another guard minion here, so I'll mark it down. So remember. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Hmm, this round, I think I will. Put advanced suit onto cable. I'll play team training with the power of leadership. And these rest are useless for now. Okay, so cable has six health. So Cable will mm, let's see. After attacks ally defeats a minion or side skin, discard one card from your hand, heal one damage from attacks ally for each resource on that card. Okay. Hmm So we can't attack with cable, unfortunately. Not enough health on cable. Mm. Okay. I will uh, toward five. From, uh, I mean two from here. Oh yeah, I forgot to place the four, uh, two from this guy, so it is down to five. I'll discard this, so we heal, ready, and we will thwart again. This time we'll take one from here. And we'll go to Alter Ego and discard the team training and draw back up to six. One, two. Oh, yeah. We'll pick one temporal card. Uh, I'll, oh, yeah. I'll play this one before we start with this one. Okay, then we draw back up to six. 
ready. And we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Apocalypse schemes for uh, one plus nothing after this activation reveal this card. So this is attached to Apocalypse also. Just put it up here. Now, uh, uh, when the villain schemes against you, discard the top card of your deck. If that card's resource is uh, physical, give the villain a tough status card. Okay. That's a bummer. Okay. Then we'll get an... Oh yeah, this guy schemes for two. So we are at uh, five, uh, four. And counter card is Biomorphic Blast. When revealed, if Apocalypse is in Biomorph form, he activates against you. Otherwise, change Apocalypse to Biomorph form and place one power counter on the main scheme. Oh yeah. Actually, this was revealed because of this. So... If Apocalypse is in Biomorph form, which he is, uh, he activates against you. Okay, so another scheme. Uh, so, one plus place one threat on the mission side scheme, this activation enemy on additional boost. Card. Okay. Uh, choose either place three threat on ancient ritual discard against. Okay, I'll just put the three here. Then we reveal a card. It is a, so heal two damage, doesn't do anything. Okay. But we put one more here, so we're at five. Okay. Then we get an encounter card, which is Source of Power. When defeated, if Apocalypse is in Biomore form, he activates again the player who defeated this scheme, otherwise sends Apocalypse to Biomore form and give him a tough status card. Okay, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, this is getting a bit hard now with all of this. I could try a concussive blast barrage somehow. Well, I am going to... Do I have a... No. So I'm able to... I'm able to deal, uh, play one of these so, and lead from the front. So it will result in Randolph having a uh, Randall having two, uh, four. So two plus four is six plus three is nine plus. This is six damage is um, 15 and we're ready. Oh yeah, but there's the guard. Uh, okay, well, uh, we can't <laughs> just blast our way through. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to heal. So I'll heal for four, which heals uh, cable for two. Uh, I'll go to hero mode. 
we will use uh, bishop's rifle to oh yeah we need to defeat this guy first so cable will kill off this guy with guard and uh, after Discard card can heal one damage from that ally for each resource on that card. So I'm using this advanced suit to heal one damage by discarding Bishop's uniform. Then, uh, yeah, we use the Bishop's. Uh, we'll use the Bishop's rifle to get rid of the stun. Then, yeah, there should be one here, I think. Then uh, we will play Concussive Blast with Malcolm and Stored Energy. So, we deal six. And we get to ready bishop. And I think we'll keep these two in hand, but we will hit with Randall for one, hit for two. And that is our turn, we're ready up. Draw back up to five. We have strength, energy conversion, energy concussive blast, and lead from the front. Okay. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We had one here. Apocalypse attacks for three, for five. I will play energy conversion. We need to shuffle each. Resource card in our discard into our deck. Which is a whopping one card. And we only can take three damage from this. So we are just taking the damage. So three, four, five, plus uh, six damage, but we'll only take three. Then we get to discard one, two, three, and we get all of them into our hand. So we're going to have a monstrous next round. Uh, Apocalypse gets one. Oh yeah, that that was actually one more damage, but we still took three, only three. So uh, each nemesis minion in play activates again. So if no minions activate this way, place three pursuit counters on pursuit by the past. Okay, so this triggers, we put uh, Trevor Fitzroy into play, hits us for oh yeah we get the uh, side seam scheme on also. This gets one counter. A lot of stuff happening here. But I'm hoping to end this next round. So we'll take just take the three. Ignore Trevor. Okay. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So we need to deal 13 damage onto Apocalypse. And nothing says that we can't do that. So we have one, two, three, four, five resource cards. So 
exhaust bishop rifle and choose an enemy, deal of one damage to that enemy for each resource card in your hand. This attack gains ranged, so 5 damage. Then I will play lead from the front. So uh, everybody has plus one attack at, uh, until the end of the round. I will play concussive blast for three damage. Uh, be, be before that, I'll hit for three damage, and then I'll just play the concussive blast to kill off Trevor. Ready, Bishop. Hit for three more damage and finish off with cable. And that is the last scenario beaten, I think. But yeah, uh, well, that that wasn't that bad. I think um, I may, may have messed up something with the setup. Uh, these um, permanent setup cards in the encounter sets are a bit tricky. I, I have to see if I have one that I missed here. No. No, I don't think so, but yeah. That is uh, the last scenario in the Age of Ap Apocalypse scenario, or the campaign box beaten with the Bishop pre leadership deck. Hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.